On the top, I have the classic Outlook, and on the bottom, I have the online version of Outlook, which is being launched into the new Outlook that you can enable here. Switch it to the new Outlook, and that will look a lot like it is on the web browser here, pretty much identical. So my name is David and I'm, and I have tons of videos on Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Together Workplace, that I'm covering on my channel. I love talking about the new stuff. And today, we're going to cover this new Outlook and what features it has, what features are missing. As you can see, there are a lot of overlaps. Um, there aren't quite as many menus as just home view and help, whereas here there's all these sorts of things. But essentially it is less cluttered, the online version, and it does have some benefits like pin, snooze. These are only things that are available in the new Outlook. So um, let's get started and turn this on and see what it gives. So from here, I'm going to click try the new Outlook. Turn that on and then press switch. And as you can see, it looks a lot like Outlook Online if you've used that before. And it has my task pane over here with to do and calendar and I can X out of that if I want to. New Outlook is showing on here. Now I can collapse or expand that. I have these icons and I can customize for more, but this will just open the app. So I don't think it's particularly useful. The only three main modules are main, calendar and people. Um, this is not tasks. Tasks has been discontinued in the newer one, but I'll talk about that later. What I do like is that it has your next meeting over here, which is really, really nice because you can click to go to it if it's an online meeting. Um, you can access these things. So this is what's new or some tips. This is some settings, and we'll talk about settings for sure. This is a notifications pane that is new in both the classic Outlook and the new Outlook. And in there, you'll get anyone who likes an email, anyone who messages you, etc. Uh, and you can just dis dismiss all or etc. or other things like that as well. So some new features that you have, if you click an email, are the ability to well, customize this, as I'll show you, um, like or react to a message, although this is kind of new for a classic Outlook as well. And this only really works inside the organization at the moment from what I can see. Uh, you have, though, some new things here. So pin and unpin, if I click on that, it's kind of like flag, it's, except it will jump to the top of your list like that. So I'm going to click that again. It will jump to the top of your list. Look, good for keeping a to-do list if you do that within your inbox. Personally, I don't. I use an inbox zero strategy, so it doesn't interest me that much. Um, you also have snooze. So this is quite nice. So let's say you have an email like this. Uh, this is just spam, by the way, <laughs> as is everything that I've got open here in this video. If I click on tomorrow, then it's going to escape out of my inbox and come back tomorrow, as I specified it there, which is pretty nice. So um, you also have Sweep. So Sweep is new as well. So Sweep is good for if you are using uh, rules. It's kind of a, a better alternative to rules. So I can say, for example, here in my other inbox, which is in both, I can say Sweep, and I'm going to say, always keep the latest message and move all the others into, not deleted items, but archive. And I press okay. And then I can go to view rules and edit them. So it's kind of like a little bit more options than regular rules. And I quite like it because it's super easy to work with junk emails and things like that. You also have some really interesting settings that are new. So if I go to settings over here, lots of things that were taken away and lots of things that were new. Um, I can, for example, in mail, I can go to one that I really like is message reminders. So this actually came in useful for me. I had a to-do item from an email that I'd missed and then Outlook four days later came up with AI to say, actually you missed something and we're trying to help you identify that this is a task in an email that you haven't done anything with. So it was really good with that. So I definitely do use that to show things. A lot of these are the same uh, where you want your reading pane. Uh, do you want focus on other or do you not want it? Text spacing. But some of the things that I do quite like is customize actions here. You can tick on whatever you want. And in the classic Outlook, you have reply, reply all and forward. But now you have so many more things you can do, including third party stuff like DocuSign or Teams or OneNote or things like that. Um, and then what to do if you want to report junk and stuff like that. You can get that in one click. Uh, I'll show you where that comes up in a little bit. And then in calendar, you have a couple of things that I like. So bookings with me. So this is a feature that allows people to get a calendar that syncs to your online one, and they can click which one they want to meet at, 
or in shared calendars, you have the ability to publish a calendar. And if I click on that and go to the page, I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is my published calendar where you can see it just says busy or free. So this is kind of nice. I put in my email signature. So bookings with me to the user would look like this. So they would click on the type of meeting that they want like that. And then here it says when they're available. So here I can click if I have any overlap meetings, then it would show me when I am and am not available. And it syncs to your time zone really, really, really useful. If you organize meetings with people in different time zones online, because uh, they can just pick whatever they want, it syncs automatically and it books it in for them. So I have a whole other video I talk about this that I'll link to in the description below. So search has a big difference. In the old version, the classic version of Outlook, then you would usually only download three months worth of email. And if it has to look at your, the rest of your emails, then it needs to fetch that and it takes quite a lot of time for it to do that. You can, of course, increase this limit or decrease it, but that would mean it would take up lots of storage space on your computer. Whereas online, it just stores it on the cloud and it searches it much, much faster. The online version of search, um, including this one with a down arrow, is pretty much the same. And online now, it also is able to find things like files, like PowerPoint files that are in emails and attachments, as well as events and emails. Although recently in the classic version of Outlook, it can do the same thing uh, like this. So it's pretty much the same outputs. Here it also has some extra things like help and some actions, but that's not really such a big difference. Uh, great. So uh, you also have some other things like quick steps. So Manage Quick Steps has been around for a long time. And I would say that the desktop version with the new experience is a little bit faster to be able to create a quick step. A quick step can, for example, do lots of things in one go. So I could say um, mark as read and file. And I could choose an action and the first one would be mark as read and the second one would be move to and choose where I move it to probably archive like that. And then I press save. So this can be done in the old version. The old version does have a quick step that I really, really loved, which is this one, which essentially sends the email to the person saying, OK, great, thanks. <laughs> uh, you also have these options in the classic version where you can see stuff from your quick access toolbar that you can access for shortcuts. In the newer version, you don't have the ability to do that. Uh, you can also have a an option to minimize this. So instead of seeing them all, you can see them, only some of them like this, so that they're displayed vertically, which I only ever use a couple of folders. So that's really useful for me. With the modern, the new Outlook, you can't do that. You can only see them like this horizontally. You can have favorites and that's pretty much the same. So when it comes to calendar, I think the new experience is so much faster. So you just click and then it automatically gives you this. You can choose like an icon and you can also add a title and invite people straight away. That takes so many more clicks in the classic version. I have to double click it. And then I need to go to add invitees and then add a Teams meeting as well. And it's just way, way, way more clicks. And another thing that I noticed is only in the new one is the ability to set a reminder via an email. So with the classic version, you can only do based on time and it's a special Outlook reminder. But if I click exit out of that, expand for more options, then I have the ability to set a reminder, including add an email reminder that I think is pretty nice. All of these features are pretty much the same, so I'm not gonna go through them, but that is quite nice. Uh, but you'll see the days have different lengths and it tries to guess that based on today and what you have in it, the past days are smaller. Uh, you can also set whether you're remote or office or a schedule for each day, which you can't do in the classic Outlook. In the new version, you can also filter and you can choose, for example, only meetings where you're the organizer or whether you're the attendee. And in view, you can also save selected views and go back to a saved view, which is kind of nice. Not a feature that I use myself that often, but it is something that is there as well. Stuff that doesn't exist in the new one, the task module. If you use Outlook tasks like I do extensively over here, then the task module itself does not exist. It only works with Microsoft To Do, and it can give you this list of either tasks or uh, your calendar, but I find, and you can change which list you have, but if you wanna do most edits, you have to go back to the online version on To Do, which I don't love, and I find 
the Outlook task is for me much more customizable. And I have a video where I compare Outlook tasks to To-Do and Planner and other apps that I'll link to in the description below. And I just really, really like Outlook tasks. And it's kind of a shame that it doesn't offer that in the new version. Here's one feature that I find really confusing. In the classic Outlook, if you have four attachments, you see them here. In the new Outlook, you have just one, and then you have here, show all four. And I've often missed the show all four, so I've been unaware that there are four. I guess that's just something to get used to, but I do think that if they have the space, they could show them, because this experience happens even if there is no space. So when you have a new item in the classic Outlook, then attach file has quite a lot of items, I think up to 10. The new Outlook is great if you use SharePoint. You can just use that and then say something that you've done recently, which is pretty cool. But if you want to do another type of attachment, then it only gives you about three previous items here and they've only been in something in SharePoint. Otherwise you need to browse it. Uh, there's also a few too many things in the home tab for the message tier here. So you do find yourself doing that a lot. Loop components is kind of in for both. It's a pretty cool new feature. And you do have quite a few things going on, but not as many in the insert tab. For example, you don't have shapes. You can't really edit pictures in the same way. And I like to edit my pictures uh, to put a border around them when I do screenshots in emails. Um, you do have uh, kind of stuff that's equivalent. So in options, you can schedule send. Whereas in the classic one, it was called delay delivery. It does kind of the same thing, except since the new Outlook at the moment doesn't have an outbox, it's kind of a little bit tricky to manage it. And then in insert, you have quick parts for the old version where you can kind of save some templates. So here is like where my YouTube files are to send to people for one of my YouTube videos where people look at Google Finance where to get stuff. And then you can have links and images and other things as well. And then you have, like, you have something called templates, which is not online, but only on the desktop new one. And I can't show that right now, but it is pretty useful, but it only allows text and the things don't carry over. So if you are switching, bear that in mind. So as you can see, if I go to a new email, I have all of these options that I can customize there. And you have another similar one within calendar invitations. So you'll also notice that this has my company theme. Excel Consulting is my company name. You can choose to have your company theme rather than traditional light blue outlook. So here I'm in a website that kind of discussed the launch. This was back in September 2022. And a couple of things I wanted to point out are features that are not available but coming. So there's a lot listed here. Many of these have now been made available, but these two are still not at the time of making this video. Offline support. So you can kind of reply to emails, create drafts, send them so that they send later and have an outbox. Um, and also search folders. Search folders are the ability to have a saved search that looks like a folder. I use it quite a lot um, to have more advanced things, so I do like that that is coming. But categories and other types of things are already in there. You can have already have a folder that is just a category. Uh, native ICS file type support as well. So for example, if someone sends you a, a calendar invite that you can download from a website, then you can close and load. That's not yet available, but it is coming soon, as is a PST file. There is also web add-ins, but there's not the ability to have com add-ins, uh, which is more desktop-based. Some of the older add-ins are of that style, but if the company does upgrade them, then they will come through. Great. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. My name is David Nyman. I have tons of videos on Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering my channel. I love talking about the new stuff, like this stuff that we've covered today. Thanks for watching.